Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the default and free MantaFlow Fluid Simulation in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so I have provided this uh, file for free in the description, so that we don't have to worry about the modeling, and just focus on the simulation itself. So press H to uh, hide the uh, domain. And then we're going to select the uh, inflow cylinder. And uh, let's add some fluid physics. Set it to flow. And then set the flow type to liquid. And then the flow behavior to inflow so that the uh, water flows in. And then I'll set the sampling substeps to 4 to increase the quality of the inflow. And then set the uh, source to 4 in the initial velocity. The y value to 7. So that uh, the... Uh, Water comes out on the y-axis and a bit down on the z-axis as well by setting the set value to minus 1. And then just add the same settings to the rest of the inflow cylinders. And the source value is the amount of water that comes out of the inflow object. Okay, so 7 and then minus 1. And then next, we need to turn the uh, tubes into obstacles so that the water interacts with the uh, tubes. So uh, let's set the uh, type to effector. And then enable is planar because a tube is an enclosed mesh. And then we need to add the uh, same settings to the uh, two other cubes as well. Set it to effector and then is planar. And then the same for the last one. And then next we need to go into the settings for the domain. So let's set the type to domain for the domain object. And then set the domain type to liquid. And then we'll set the resolution to 100 for now. And we'll see why we need to increase it later. And then enable diffusion. And then you can change the liquid type if you want to. But I'm just going to set it to water, which is the default option. And then enable mesh as well. And I'll set the end frame to 300 for the simulation. And then set the type to all so that we can bake it. And then I'm also going to enable is resumable so that we can pause the uh, simulation and uh, continue later on if we want to. And then let's save. You can save it wherever you want on the computer. Just give it a name and press enter to save. And then you can also choose a folder for the final uh, simulation uh, cache which uh, might actually take up a lot of space. Make sure to enable liquid as well, so that we get the liquid working. And if you now try to bake, and I'm going to cancel this one, you'll see that there is nothing coming out. And that is because the resolution is too low for such a narrow obstacle. So uh, I'm going to free this bake, and then increase the resolution. I think 150 will be enough for now. I'm going to increase it later, but uh, I think it's enough for most computers. And then uh, bake all. And when I cancel this time, you will see that we actually have water. So uh, I have to speed up the baking. And uh, this is what it looks like so far. I'm going to do the final bake later, but I like to uh, do some test bakes beforehand. And I'm also going to use a background image. And you can find free background images in the link in the description. I'm just going to use the uh, Chelsea stairs. But you can also go to HDRI Haven to get free HDRI background images. So uh, just choose one that fits your scene. And then open the image. And then we have the uh, background image. Okay, and uh, when we go into rendered view, you can see that we have the HDRI. And then next, we need to set up the render settings. I'm going to use the GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU. And then next, let's set up the materials. For the water, we're going to use a glass material with zero roughness and an IOR value of 1.333, which is 4 divided by uh, 3. And then I'm going to make it slightly blue. And uh, 
once the rendering is done you can see that we have uh, water and then um, we can just play around with the colors some people prefer it to uh, just be completely white but uh, that's up to you you can fake the atmosphere and so on and then let's add a material for the uh, tubes as well so I'm just going to use a basic diffuse material and uh, make it blue and then next we need to copy this material to the other tubes as well so uh, hold in shift and then press ctrl L to make links and uh, link the materials and as you can see they're all blue now okay so let's save before we continue and then next we're going to add a material for the bottom of the tubes as well so uh, let's make it diffuse and uh, black and then once again we need to copy the same materials hold in shift and then press uh, Control L and link the material and then just play around with the colors until you have a result that you like okay and uh, I think this looks nice And then next, we need to hide the inflow objects, which in this case are the uh, three cylinders with the inflow settings. So uh, let's select them in the uh, top right corner of the screen. So inflow one, two, and three, and make sure to hide them both in the viewport and in the final render. And then next, I'm going to free up the uh, bake and do a uh, final bake with a uh, much higher resolution i think for most people 150 is enough and um, i'm going to go for 250 but uh, you should definitely consider using a lower value maybe uh, 200 or 150 because i spent four hours on a uh, fairly high-end computer to uh, bake this simulation okay and then bake all and after four hours of baking we have this um, simulation and if we move on the timeline we can see what it looks like obviously it's a very heavy simulation so we have to wait a bit for each frame so uh, let's just save before we continue and the plus sign and then save I actually had to speed up this part of uh, the recording because it took so long to switch between each of the uh, frames but uh, this is what it looks like and keep in mind that the uh, water fills up the domain really quick so uh, at the end of the 300 frames the uh, domain will be almost completely full and uh, this is what it looks like in rendered view and you might want to adjust the floor and so on add some walls if you want the reflection of the HDRI to be uh, removed okay so uh, let's uh, get into the uh, render settings so let's switch to uh, solid view then the render settings and uh, then next I'm going to turn on the noising for the render so just use the default one and if you have a GPU make sure to increase the tile size if you only have a CPU you can just leave it at 64 which is optimal and then uh, I'm also going to set the resolution to 4k if you want 1080p just leave it at 100% and then next you can choose a folder for the render output I'm going to use PNGs and then convert them into an MP4 file later. And then select the folder, give the uh, animation name, and then save. And I'll set the compression to uh, 15%. That's very low. You can uh, set it higher if you want to. And then next, I'm going to do a uh, test render before I do the uh, final render. So uh, let's go up to the top left corner and then render image and then you will get an idea of how long it will take to uh, render each of the images 
which was about three minutes for uh, this one. And then next, you need to go up to uh, render, and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will post more simulation tutorials soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.